Throughout the history of mankind, many mystical stories and events have been known that has not been unraveled by scientists. What is it, mysticism? Or maybe real facts that science cannot yet explain? Today Top F will tell one of these stories, namely, we will talk about the mystery of the disappeared Flight 914. Fasten your seatbelts, we're starting. Main Legend It was a typical May day. The weather was great. There was not a single cloud in the sky over Caracas. The day for the airport controller Juan de la Corte turned out to be quite normal. Nothing remarkable. The same as last shift. And the year before. During this quiet time, the radar usually shows only two or three aircraft in the sky. At one point, it seemed to Juan de la Corte that he was somewhere in the distance, but distinctly, he heard the noise of propeller engines. Dispatcher de la Corte's eyes fell on the radar again. The green bar running around the entire circumference of the monitor highlighted only a couple of aircraft known to him. An unfamiliar aircraft, it was not displayed on its radar. The dispatcher picked up binoculars and began to examine the sky around the control tower. Increasing noise of engines and emptiness on the radar made the experienced dispatcher, who was de la Corte, nervous. Through binoculars, the controller saw a small DC-4 aircraft approaching the runways. It was a strange plane. DC-4 aircraft have not been produced since World War II. This is a passenger, four-engine liner, capable of accommodating, according to various sources, from 40 to 80 passengers, not counting crew members. It was the picture that the dispatcher of the International Airport of Caracas Juan de la Corte saw that day on the horizon. The dispatcher, anticipating something, gave the order to clear one of the lanes and tried to contact an unknown aircraft. Unknown board, respond. Said on the radio de la Corte, identify yourself. Through light interference, the pilot answered the question with a question. Where are we? The pilot's voice was alarmed and confused. Tell me, where are we? I'm Flight 914, New York, Miami. Silence reigned in the control room. It took De La Corte and the other Caracas controllers a few moments to digest what the DC-4 pilot had said. Miami? Miami is 1,800 kilometers from Caracas. 914th, the dispatcher of the Caracas Airport, Venezuela, is talking to you. Said Juan, what happened to you, 914th? Are you in distress? Get on the lane. Caracas, how can this be? The pilot asked. A few minutes later, the DC-4 landed on one of the lanes of Caracas International Airport. An exclamation was heard in the cockpit the intonation of which cannot be conveyed. The exclamation was full of horror and surprise. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. What the hell is this? Rocket? Judging by the angle of view, the pilots of Flight 914 were looking at nothing more than a modern jet taking off on the adjacent runway. We are Flight 914. We should be at the Miami airport at 9.55 a.m. on July 2nd. Shouted the pilot, how did we end up in Caracas? Something is not clean here. I assure you that you are at the Caracas International Airport. Today is May 21st, 1992. Juan de la Corte answered. Oh my God. The pilot of Flight 914 obviously did not count on such an answer. The controller tried to reassure the pilot, saying that the ground crew was on the way and the pilot should remain calm. Don't come near us, shouted the pilot through the open cockpit window. Do not approach. We're flying away. Let's fly away from here. 
The pilot shouted and waved a folder from which a small sheet of thick paper fell out. Just think about it. Continued the captain of flight 914, the 92nd year. He started the engines and the plane took off. Soon the mumbling on the radio died down and there was no longer any reminder of the strange plane. The radar was still empty. The ground team of technicians said that as they approached the plane, they saw frightened passengers of this flight who pressed against the viewing windows. After the 914 took off, the team found on the runway a document that had fallen out of a folder that was being brandished by a DC-4 pilot. This document turned out to be an ordinary pocket calendar. He looked like new, but he was embarrassed by the year 1955. Juan de la Corte struggled to remember if the pilot had mentioned the year of his flight plan in the conversation or not. If mystical things happen, this was clearly one of them. A post-war aircraft, pilots who almost went crazy at the sight of a jetliner, a calendar for 1955 that fell out of the pilot's folder, all these cast disturbing thoughts on all the controllers of the Caracas International Airport. Can it be argued that this was Flight 914? which took off from New York Airport in 1955 with 57 passengers on board? Skeptics think it's a great hoax. But the dispatchers who received the 914th DC-4 on one of the airport runways are sure that it was a plane from the past. All communications between controllers and the ghost of Flight 914 have been seized for scrutiny. Later, Juan de la Corte recalled, I saw the plane. I heard the voice of the pilot. I even held the calendar in my hand, but I still can't believe it. These people on board still thought it was 1955 and that they had landed in Florida. But it's not. God only knows where they've been all these years. No one else has seen a DC-4 with 57 passengers on board flying New York-Miami Flight 914. Calendar is proof. The only proof of the mysterious fact was a small calendar dated 1955. Apparently, it fell out of the pilot's magazine when he brushed aside the airport technical staff hurrying to help him. Was there an airplane? The official version. The story of the American passenger plane Douglas DC-4, which flew away and returned only 37 years later, is terrifying and evokes thoughts of otherworldly forces. The only thing that is misleading is the so-called small evidence base. The absence of any information except for the stories of dispatchers and an old calendar found on the runway. This was first reported in the editorial of the Weekly World News on May 7, 1985. The article was titled The Plane That Disappeared From The Radar Screens 30 Years Ago Landed At The Airport. After seven years, the editors are revising the story with similar content. The only modifications concern the date. Probably, someone did not like the round number 30 and decided to change it to 37. Repeated references to the incident date back to 1992. The publication belongs to the aforementioned journal. All subsequent publications on the mysterious incident are just a retelling of a previously published article and other sources. However, if you dig a little deeper, it turns out that he never disappeared. This is confirmed by the lack of information from official sources. The second proof can be considered a funny copy-paste of the aforementioned Yellow Publishing House. The 1999 edition again publishes a similar article containing the same story. The latest version differs only in that the photographs depicting Juan de la Corte differ significantly from each other. Thus, in this story, according to the magazine, there are two inexplicable phenomena 
the disappearance and sudden appearance of an aircraft with 57 passengers on board, as well as the modification of the personality of the Caracas airport controller Juan de la Corte. And to dispel all doubts, we will give examples of other articles from the magazine that published this story. You can now see them on the screen. Thus, we can say that most likely Flight 914 simply did not exist, and this is a very successful example of a PR move, the fictional story of which has become a famous legend that has caused a lot of controversy and research. Therefore, Top F considers the case closed. Thanks for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and like this video if you haven't done it yet. Also, turn on notifications on our channel to catch all new videos. Bye.